Hello. You might be wondering, Drew, do you always bring your wiener out in public? <laughs> the answer is yes, but I don't always bring her out. <laughs> Excuse me, my eyes are up here. <laughs> A problem I have is IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. I'm not an angry asshole. I just have one. <laughs> so this is a partnership. You see, what that means is that I have alternating constipation and diarrhea. But half the time, I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's supposed to be like self-deprecation. It's more like self-deprecation. <laughs> I think I hit a low point in my life. The other day, someone caught me attempting to have anal sex with the statue. I think I finally hit rock bottom. <laughs> Earlier this week, my father gave me a book, a journal, called A Father's Legacy, meant to be filled out by the father of all of his advice and life tales and passed on to the son. And I opened it up and I said, Dad, this is empty. And he said, Drew, I don't know your real father. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cold out tonight. By show of hands, who else here? In the winter, your knuckles crack and bleed. <laughs> It's just a really weird kind of affliction to have because it makes it look like you're abusive. <laughs> you see, I have trouble sleeping unless I'm holding something, like my girlfriend, or a body pillow made of past girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I recently inherited a morgue, but I'm more of a businessman than a mortician. <laughs> So I figured I'd turn it into a Build-A-Bear workshop <laughs> for necrophiliacs. <laughs> you look uncomfortable. <laughs> That's the normal effect I have on women. <laughs> I was in the car with my mom, and I was like, Mom, this song is fucking terrible. She's like, Drew, you know, you wouldn't have been born without this song. I was like, well, what would Dad have said? He would have said that you wouldn't have been born if there hadn't been a ban on aborting rape babies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that too dark for you? Don't worry, it gets darker. <laughs> I like my women like I like my burgers. Thick and juicy, and sometimes in bags in the freezer. <laughs> you want to say something? <laughs> Whenever I go to In N Out, I always order extra spread. In N Out the brothel. <laughs> I like my hookers flexible, you know, <laughs> able to meet different times of the week. <laughs> <laughs> the first people to have six packs were the aboriginals. <laughs> <laughs> they say that sluts don't get cold in the winter, but that is not true. Just ask the one in my freezer. <laughs> I recently had a mint, but it made my breath smell bad. So I think it might be a detriment. <laughs> Was that one painful for you? Yeah, not enough rape and murder in it. <laughs> Don't worry, your needs will be satiated. <laughs>
<laughs> During sex, my girlfriend is a screamer, which is super awkward for my housemates. <laughs> Hearing her screaming, no! <laughs> <laughs> My uncle just turned 40, and they said that he's over the hill, buried somewhere. <laughs> you may have noticed by now that I'm obesely morbid. <laughs> One time I went out on a date with this girl, and she insulted everything about me, my clothes, the way I talk, the things I'm interested in. I mean, she was absolutely heartless when I was done with her. <laughs> Don't worry, not all of these jokes are true. <laughs> they say that beauty is more than skin deep, which is true. <laughs> it's actually quite deep, if you sink her right. <laughs> I've got this robot friend that's made entirely of scrap, but he recently got in trouble for indecent exposure when he whipped out his junk. <laughs> I went to my Vietnamese friend's barbecue last weekend, and I got kind of mad when I got there. I was like, whoa, there was a dog on his grill. I'm like, dude, I told you, you're a terrible driver. <laughs> See, not only is that a perfect pun, but it's a perfect racist joke, because it has a pun in it. So it's a pun joke. So at my work when they say, Drew, you're not allowed to tell racist jokes, I can get away with that one. <laughs> they say the most accidents happen within one mile of your home. And within one mile of my mother's home, I was conceived. <laughs> my girlfriend's not very big on alcohol. She keeps trying to interject, but then she remembers that she doesn't speak English. <laughs> like, she speaks Spanish. <laughs> My girlfriend is not very big on alcohol. But in order to get her off, she has to be shit-faced. Which is great for me, since I have IBS. <laughs> <laughs> You might have noticed by now that I'm a very sensitive person. <laughs> and being the exemplary father that I am and that my girlfriend is pregnant, for Christmas, I just gave her a coat hanger <laughs> for the baby's clothes. The other day I met this suicidal grape with a foot fetish. He said, turn me into wine. <laughs> There's this pink bird that coughs up lots of gunk. It's the flamingo. <laughs> Was that too cute for you? Was it too cheesy? Yes. <laughs> you see, I wouldn't normally watch my dog and bring her to a comedy show, but she insisted. And so did my mom out of town. <laughs> <laughs> this chick's weight went from 150 to 180 in three days. There was water weight. She was bloated. Said the guy that found her body in the river. <laughs> I'm glad that you love this. <laughs> I do them to make people happy. <laughs> Especially the look on your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you seemed really to enjoy the visuals that I gave you there. <laughs> I got this new rape whistle. <laughs> See, that joke is not insensitive, as a matter of fact. That's a burn against cat callers who are creepy. Think about that one. <laughs> Tell it to your family. <laughs> I'm currently in a research position, and I just submitted my abstract. It's just a bunch of random shapes. <laughs> You see, normally I can't tell these jokes in like Sacramento where I come from because the crowds aren't intelligent enough to know what an abstract is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad that the IQ in the room is at least over 100 for the most part. <laughs> I wonder in the age of bionics, what will it mean when an adult man asks a little girl, can I see your parts? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you think that Melania Trump is a pedophile? That when Donald finger bangs her, it feels like she's being fingered by a child? <laughs> True story. <laughs> you know it's a good joke when it insults more than Trump. It also implies that the first lady is a pedophile. <laughs> the other day, I thought it was really funny. This little kid was pronouncing legumes wrong. He kept saying, legume. <laughs> Being that this is a Planned Parenthood event, I made sure to include lots of abortion jokes and other things. For instance, I finally got my girlfriend the birth control shot. <laughs> you didn't like that one, huh? Or maybe you got her too excited. <laughs> you might be thinking by this point, is this guy going to rape and murder me after the show? <laughs> Don't worry. I promise you, I can't multitask. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm generally averse to public displays of affection. <laughs> Whenever I go out on a date with a girl, just for sex, I don't talk and I listen the entire time. I call it the vagina monologue. As you can tell, I'm a really nice person. And my girlfriend is super kind, so I had to write an insult for her to tell me. My boyfriend is in his 20s. But his penis makes me feel like I'm a pedophile. <laughs> you can let that one sink in. I told my girlfriend to be more animalistic. She threw a poop at me. <laughs> I guess you could say I have shitty taste. <laughs> then the other day she shaved her pubes and she was like, does this make me more attractive? I was like, that makes you look like a five-year-old. So yes. <laughs> it's weird to think that I was like once two feet. And like never since then have I ever been so hard. No? <laughs> Not quite. She just wrote that one earlier. So. When babies are born, they're about 
one foot in size, which translates to perfect stomping size. <laughs> Unless you have small feet. <laughs> I see that some of you have gotten to the point where I'm enjoying this more than you. <laughs> Maybe those perceptive few knew from the start that that's what I was going for. <laughs> Earlier I ejaculated and there was a bunch of blood and I thought that I might have ruined the corpse. <laughs> That one might be a true story. <laughs> you see, I have really conservative grandparents, and I like black metal. But you see, they hate it. And I'm not sure if it's because they think it's satanic, or because they think it's black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My grandpa, I think Trump was inspired by my grandpa. <laughs> so considering that, you may now think that, well, Drew turned out all right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did once have a black girlfriend. Well, after the house fire. <laughs> I dumped her. I don't remember which river. <laughs> you see, I was actually supposed to see my grandpa for dinner yesterday, and then my mom was like, oh, grandpa flaked. I said, what is that, like, coming for old people? <laughs> you see, normally I'm a pretty persuasive person, but for the life of me, I could not convince this couple that the five second rule applied to babies. <laughs> Didn't stop me. <laughs> One time this text message cost me $8,500, not including the charges from the vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> Don't worry, there's only a few more. <laughs> or, congratulations, there's a few more. <laughs> I remember when I was little, we used to say, if you step on a crack, dad will beat you because that shit's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I like to make animal noises during sex to make it feel for my girlfriend like bestiality. I like to make animal noises during sex to remind my girlfriend of her family. She was raised by wolves. I like to make animal noises during sex to cover up the sound of my girlfriend's crying. One of those is true. <laughs> if I told you that she gets along well with my dog, that might be a hint. <laughs> Yesterday I put my hair in a pony, my pubic hair, in a pony. <laughs> Some people say, Drew, Watching you do comedy, you never know what's gonna come next. Like a gangbang. <laughs> you may have thought, wow, this event is for Planned Parenthood. <laughs> it's going to be very PC and positive. <laughs> you were mistaken. <laughs> I heard that there's a child rapist on the loose. We should try to get him home before it's bedtime. <laughs> I like to breathe.
than the mic sometimes. So. <laughs> I didn't forget what I'm going to say next, I just... <laughs> I'm pretending I did. You see, I have so much pubic hair that you can hardly see my penis. My girlfriend calls me Sasquatch. <laughs> I try to send her dick pics, but they're all blurry. This obese girl suffocated her boyfriend during sex. He couldn't get her off. <laughs> Did the Transformers abuse cash for clunkers to get money for their abortions? You have to know what cash for clunkers was. <laughs> I won't tell you. <laughs> Drew, how does your girlfriend's pussy taste? Umami. <laughs> you can bring that one back home. <laughs> My grandma loved that one. It was her favorite. I'll end on a high note. My sister is a cheap asshole. And by that, I mean $5 anal. <laughs> Which explains why she has all my allowance money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>